Okay, mtazamaji ikiwa ni siku nyingine ya Alhamis ukiona sura hii bila shaka unafahamu kwamba ni sheria na jamii imefika hewani na ukuwe tayari na kitabu chako kama hiki cha kwangu na labda simu ya kwako kwa wale ambao wana ni watu wa kidijitali kabisa tayari na kwanza kuzina kili zile notes kidogo ambazo utakuna kifunza hapa kwenye kipindi chetu cha sheria na jamii lakini akando yangu ni na wakili ambaye yuko ange tayari kwa kuelimisha ama kukufuza yale ambaye anahusiana na sheria zetu za Kenya unajua sisi kama wa Kenya tuna katiba na katiba hiyo ina sheria na hizo sheria ndizo zinazotulinda ili kuhakikisha kwamba tunafanikisha maisha yetu ya kila siku karibu kwenye kipindi leo hii na oda wako ni mimi mwenye Kenya wetu tutakuwa na kwa takriban bisabi sima ikiwa tunazungumza mambo na kisheria pole pole hapa lakini bila kupoteza muda uh, yule ambaye utapenda kuzungumza nasi utazungumza nasi kupitia nambari yetu ya simu ambayo ni 0732504441 tuandikie pale ujumbe wako tutakuwa tunakujibu hapa na leo hii kitengo tunacho kitengo maalumu ambacho hakijashuhudiwa hapa ni kitengo cha kujibu maswali yako ambayo ulituma katika kipindi chetu kilichopita cha sheria na jamii. Na karibu sana aniwe na mtambulisha wakili wangu. Wakili utaanza kwa kujitambulisha, utuambie kama maswali yameshuka mengi ama kwako kwa sababu upande wako yamekuwa maswali kidogo. Nashukuru kwa muda mwingine wa kukuja kuwa na nyinyi watazamaji. Majina yangu ni Consilata Masafu Mngifo, mimi ni wakili na Leo tuna maswali mengi sana ambayo nimepokea kutoka kwa kile kipindi ambacho kilipita tulitumiwa maswali mengi mpaka singeweza kuyajibu yote. Na ningependa kwamba turudi pale ndiposa wale ambao wanatutazama na una maswali ukue unaweza kupata majibu ya yale maswali. So siku ya leo nimeonelea kwamba tujibu maswali yenu na wale ambao bado wana maswali mnaweza tuma tutaendelea kuyajibu ndipo sa uweze kuelimika. Asante sana. Okay, so umemmsikia wakili kujua kwamba yupo studio na ukimwona unajua yeye yupo hapa ni kwa ajili yako kuhakikisha kwamba wewe kama mkenya unafahamu sheria ndikwambia last week nilikwambia usije ukajikuta kwa kona mbaya utajua kuna zile kona nzuri na kona mbaya. Kwa hivyo wakili yuko hapa kuhakikisha kwamba unaishi katika maisha yaliyonyoroka uendi kando na sheria zetu za Kenya na anakupea ushauri huu bure bila kulipia kwa hivyo wewe lako ni kukaa pale kuketi kutulia na kutupa sikio kwa lisali zima lijalo sasa wakili tunaanza na maswali yetu direct na swali la kwanza hapa lilikuja na kutoka akuweka jina lake lakini alisema tu nipo kakamega na watazama akasema if my dad died and my grandfather and my grandfather like hako amewapatia ile urithi so anasema ni nani anafaa kurithi hiyo mali na kwa njia gani anaweza rithi ni sawa eh huyo anasema kwamba baba yake amefariki yeah. na pia uh, grandfather wake amefariki yes inamaanisha wale wazazi wake ule mzazi wake amefariki na ule ambaye ni mzazi mzazi wake pia amefariki yes nafikiri pale ambapo watu wawili wamefariki kama baba na grandfather yes. kuna succession mbili ambazo ziko pending pale okay. na naamini kwamba anamaanisha kwamba succession ya grandfather haikufanyika yes. so eh, kila ambacho anaweza fanya hawezi fanya succession ya baba yake kwa sababu naamini kwamba lile shamba liko kwa majina ya baba yes. kama lingekuwa lilirudishwa kwa jina ya la baba la baba yake liko kwa majina ya grandfather yes. kama lingekuwa kwa jina ya baba hangekuwa na mtaja grandfather okay. lakini inamaanisha kwamba wakati baba anakufa alikuwa amepewa tu ile inaitwa allocated He, the father was allocated a portion of land mm -hmm. but uh, hakukuwa amepewa ile ya kufanywa transfer yes. na baba ya, ya baba yake akakufa ule ambaye ni grandfather yes. na sasa wameshindwa tunaishi hapa lakini ili shamba ni baba alipewa mm -hmm. na grandfather pia amekufa yes. na baba amekufa mm -hmm. kila ambacho wanaweza fanya ni vizuri warudi wafanye succession ya grandfather kwa sababu eh, kulingana na swali lake inamaanisha kwamba shamba liko kwa majina ya grandfather. So hawezi fanya succession ya baba yake na shamba liko kwa majina ya grandfather ama ile mali ambayo wanalo nayo liko kwa majina ya grandfather. Kila ambacho anatakana afanye succession ya grandfather. Lakini sasa akifika pale mahali pa 
bila wale beneficiaries mm. anaweza toa lile jina la baba yake mm. aweke jina la, majina yao hao ambao wako kwa shamba mm. ndipo saa wakifika ile kugawana ile distribution of that property mm. itakuja tu kwa kidirect kutoka kwa grandfather mm. haitakuwa kwamba tena waweke kwa mtu ambaye amekufa kwa sababu mtu ambaye amekufa hawezi sign consent ya kukubali kwamba shamba linagawa hiyo hivi mm. ni vizuri aweke uh, tu succession ya grandfather alafu lile shamba litatoka kwa grandfather likikuja kwake wakati wanafanya succession waache baba nje waweke majina zao na can the person register hiyo land apewe namba yes yes the thing is wakati unafanya ile succession ya grandfather yes una wewe ndio una inherit kutoka grandfather yako kwa sababu you are grand, your father died yes and let me ask you maybe lile ambalo mmewachiwa na baba yenu mm pia mko sehemu sehemu sio kwamba mnaishi tu lazima kila mtu akona mali pake ya maishi so na kama mlikubaliana ama baba aliwapatia lakini hakuwa na title wakati mnafanya succession mtaenda mpima mpime zile eka zile kila mtu anaishi kwa eka yake inatoshana hivi yes. ama kwa nusu eka ama kwa kota eka inatoshana hivi yes. alafu baada ya kupima sasa ile karatasi mtapeleka kotini mkisema kwamba tuna ridhi shamba liko kwa majina ya grandfather yetu yes. lakini sisi ni grandsons na tuna ridhi kwa sababu baba yetu alipo sa so, uh, kuna mwingine hapa anasema ni Edward kutoka Chimoya anasema hako na same same question for kuhusiana mambo na shamba anasema how do i get an order to stop someone using my land nafikiri hilo ni swali ambalo liko very direct yes. Ed, amesema anaitwa Edwin Edward Edward uh, kupata order to stop shamba tumia shamba lako ni kwenda tu kotini hakuna vile utapata order kutoka pale pingine na labda maybe kila ambacho unauliza ni ile procedure ambayo itakusaidia mpaka ufike kotini unaweza kuwa labda haujawahi kuwa na mambo ya koti na kuchanganya kwamba sasa mimi sijawahi kuwa kotini ni vipi ambavyo nitajipata kwamba nimepeleka mtu kotini ama ni procedure gani itafuata kitu cha kwanza Edwin nitaku nitakusihi ama I'll advise you go and look for an advocate kwa sababu mambo na shamba huwa naambia watu sio vizuri sana ujifanyie kesi ya shamba mm. kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi ambayo unaweza kosa kuelewa so kila pacho unaweza fanya edwin enda tafuta wakili enda enda kusaidie ataandikia ule mtu barua yes. ambaye kwamba unatumia shamba la edward na edward ayuko comfortable yes. mnaweza pata hata labda mnazozana tu na ni mipaka imesongeshwa yes. sio kwamba tu kuna kuna mazozano ya kupigana yeah. labda ni kitu ambacho unaweza pata ni ile tu Edward anasema mpaka wangu unafika hapa naye ule ambaye jirani anasema mpaka wake unafika hapa hilo ni jambo rahisi tu la kusuluhisha si lazima hata muende kotini mnaweza enda land office mkafanya ile application ya kukuja ku correct boundary of the land na wale watu wa land uh, land land registry watakuja wa correct ile boundary ni procedure kidogo kuna pesa ambazo utalipa pale na kuna makaratasi fulani ambayo pia utapewa pale ufili ufanye hii na hili alafu baadaye utakuja waambie wale watu majirani kwamba wanakuja kutengeneza boundary ama kupima ile mpaka na watakuja watengeneze lakini wacha ni assume kwamba eh, lile swali la Edward anasema kwamba mtu anatumia shamba lake kama mtu anatumia shamba lako Edward na ume establish kwamba ni kweli hili ni shamba langu niko na title lakini tumia yes. ni vizuri tu tafute wakili mpate ile instructions eh, aende kotini upate court order ustopishe huyo mtu kutumia shamba lako na kama tayari yako ndani anatumia unaweza enda ukachukua ile eviction kama ni mtu anaishi ndani ukamtoa ndani permanent mm -hmm. na pia wewe endapo mtazamaji una swali lolote kuhusiana na mambo haya ya shamba wakili yuko hapa nambari yetu nimekwambia ni ile ile iko chini ya runinga yako 07 3250441 ndo nambari yetu tuma ujumbe pale usitupigie simu sasa hivi manake simu sio rahisi tupokee lakini ukituandikia ujumbe ni rahisi tukujibu ujumbe wako hapa hapa na upate kuridhika na jibu lako kwa swali ambalo umetutumia na usiporidhika na jibu ambalo tumekuba pia una uwezo wa kutuma hiyo message kwa mara nyingine ili upate kupata lile jibu fasaha ambalo litakufaidi wewe kama mtazamaji wetu wa sheria na jamii hapa Pendo TV. Lakini wakili kuna kitu umezungumza
kuzungumzia kwamba yule mtu ambaye mtu anatumia shamba lake atafute wakili. Na kumbuka juzi juzi nikiwa nazunguka kuna rafiki yangu mmoja akaniuliza ni vipi mtu anaweza pata wakili? Ile ni swali nzuri. Ni ukweli kuna watu hawana hawana ile connection ambayo wanajua watapata wapi wakili ama wata wachasaidika vipi ni ukweli kuna watu wajakutana na wakili kwa maana kama hujakuwa na kesi kotini kuna yes. uwezekano kwamba hautakuwa na wakili yes. ni rahisi tu kwamba utapata utapatana na wakili kama wewe ni mtu wa kesi hiyo uh hiyo -huh. ni, ni, ni ama ni, kama wewe ni kama mimi una hoji wakili ni kama wewe una hoji wakili inawezeka inawezekana hivyo <laughs> na kila ambacho nitamwambia yule ambaye anatafuta wakili kuna maofisi mingi za wakili ziko towns tofauti lakini unaweza pia ulizia marafiki kwamba ni wakili mgani anaweza nisaidia kwa jambo fulani lazima kwa ile fratani tambayo uko nayo kuna watu wanajua mawakili na wanaweza kuelekeza wakakwambia enda kwa fulani enda kwa fulani enda kwa fulani atakusaidia na pia eh, ili huwa aliongelewi sana lakini kuna kuna ile list ya mawakili ambayo ukienda law society portal ukiingiza list of advocates utapata list of advocates iko pale na pia unaweza pia check kama ule wakili ni wakili ambaye ni halali ama sio halali kwa sababu saa hizi kuna watu wengi wanajiita wakili kuna watu wanafanya kazi za wakili lakini sio mawakili nimekutana na watu wengi ambao walikuja kwangu wakaniambia kwamba madam nimefanywa kazi na wakili ule fulani fulani lakini ukifuata unajua kwamba wewe sio wakili so kila ambacho unahitaji kufanya ukienda kwa wakili mostly tunatumia majina zetu kama ukiona hiki kipindi jina langu linaandikwa konsilata mnifo masawe ukiliangalia hilo jina uende kwa uende kwa law society portal na uenter ile jina langu litakuletea kwamba konsilata masawe ni wakili na ana practice tuko pia tuna renewal certificates every year na Unaweza jua kama ule wakili ako na certificate ama hana kwa sababu inaandika iko active ama inactive. Pia hilo litakusaidia. Kwa sababu pia kuna watu ambao wanaenda kwa ofisi fulani alafu zinafanyika makaratasi alafu kifika pale mbele unaambiwa kwamba ule wakili hakuwa na practicing certificate na makaratasi yako inatupwa. Tena inabidi utafute ule ambaye ako na certificate uanze upya. So eh, kama the public ni vizuri pia uweze kujua mtu ambaye unafanya naye kazi ni wakili ama sio wakili sio vizuri tu rely on the verbal information naweza kuja hapa nikakwambia mimi ni wakili na mimi sio wakili unaweza kutana na mimi kotini nikawa nimevaa suti nzuri bila ambapo Edwin amevaa siku ya leo anaonekana kama wakili so ukamwona Edwin ukasema nimemwona ule wakili pale kotini kwa sababu mnapenda kutuuzisha na kuvaa suti sana so ukawa pale kotini umechangamuka nimekutana na Edwin ambaye ameniambia ni wakili na unampatia instruction alafu yakifika pale mbele unapata kwamba kumbe wewe ndio was not an advocate yes. so when you are looking for an advocate also be careful at a nimeona sana yakitendeka pale kotini ambapo watu wengi wana approachiwa na wale ambao tunaita brokers yes. na wanawapatia kesi yes. na ule broker kwa sababu hawezi fanya kesi yes. anakuja anatafuta wakili sasa unapata kwamba kesi yako inafanyika na chaini ya watu. Yes. Wewe mwenyewe hujawahi hata access wakili wako. Yes. Ule kuna in between ambaye ana ana access wakili. So ni vizuri sana sana kwamba uweze kujua ule mtu ambaye unamfanyia naye kazi yes. ni wakili ama sio. Okay. So in short unajaribu kuambia katika sheria wa avoid wale middlemen's Uh, kuna no hao kula ambayo kila tasema kuna wale ambao wako yes. wanafanya kazi nzuri yes. mtu anajiheshimu yes. ndio hata ji present kama yeye ni wakili anajua kwamba si hii kazi sitaiweza yes. lakini nitapendekea rafiki yangu fulani ambaye atatusaidia na unapata wako genuine atachukua ule the client yes. atatembea na yeye kwa kwa wakili amueleze huyu yako na shida fulani fulani yes na anataka msaada wako mm -hmm. na utapata wakili pia wewe you are accessible to the advocate yes. so mtakaa chini muongee na ule pia ako pale lakini ukipata kwamba una deal na mtu ambaye hata hataki kujua kesi yako inafanyika wapi inaandikwa makaratasi wapi yeah. ni nini inaendelea wewe unaleta watu makaratasi huko kwa kwa hotels yeah or if it's not in a hotel hata kwa mauanja tu hata nyumbani kwambie tukutane saa 3 ya usiku ni kwa ile pepo zako ndio yes. unapata mwingine 
mama unaleta makaratasi usiku kusaini kwa, kwa, kwa nyumba yako yes. jamani aliwezekani sidhani kama naweza chukua makaratasi nikuje nayo kwako kama nina ofisi so in most cases unapata wale watu ambao wana act kama brokers wana wanakuwa na ile hali ambayo wajilelezi vizuri mm. unapata kama ni ofisi unapata kuna ofisi ambayo unaenda unapata ama wewe unaambiwa tuleta makaratasi na kuleta makaratasi mna sainia zingine hata kwa kwa cybers mm. these people sign court papers on the cyber yeah. then unauliza kwa nini unasainia makaratasi ya court kwa cyber baadaye wakifika kule maneno yameribika wanarudi sasa nyuma wanasema sasa tunataka msaada na in most cases they put us in a very hard situation kwa sababu kesi inaendelea eh ule broker ametumia wakili kama tano kufanya kesi moja na mimi ninapoingia inawezekana mawazo yangu kuhusu ile kesi sio mawazo ya ule wakili ambaye anatoka yes. sisi wote ni wakili sisi wote tunasoma sheria moja lakini kila mtu huwa ako na ile analysis ambayo yuko ndani yake ambayo mwenyewe anaweza analysis anali, anaweza fanya analysis ya kitu akajua kwamba hii naweza kimilia huko mm-hmm. sio kwamba tunafikirianga tu same ndio sheria ni sawa lakini kila mtu ana mafikiri yake so hapo eh, mahali pa kujua mtu mwakili ama kupata wakili ni vizuri to make inquiries before you make a step There are so many brokers in our field at the moment. Yes. Kuna brokers wengi sana kwa field ya mawakili, especially on matters succession and uh, transfer of land. Yes. And I've seen also something that is so common at the moment I'm sorry to speak about it if there is a chief watching me yes. I may have to speak it. I have seen land agreements being made before the chiefs. True. Through the chiefs wanaenda kwa chiefs yeah. wanaka pale wanafanya land agreement. Yes. I'm telling you there is a there is rules and regulations of how an agreement should look like. Yes. Tuna lay down laws ambazo zina govern a land agreement. Unajua sale of land agreement is au nunui nguo mama ama mzee. Hili ni shamba unanunua. Unanunua shamba 1500 mm-hmm. alafu unataka uende ulipe chief 1500 mm-hmm. kwa sababu umeogopa kupatia wakili 1200. Yes. Ni nini ni rahisi? kupoteza kwa sababu umelipa 1500 na upoteze 1500 mm. ama kulipa shilingi 2020 na usipoteze 1500 mm. kwa sababu umeandikiwa document ambayo inaweza kudefend wewe na vizazi vyako mm-hmm. so there is something that i would like to caution the society please wacha kuchukua agreement ya shilingi milioni moja unakaa na wazee watatu mm-hmm. na chief pale na mnaandika agreement yes. then kesho unakuja kwa ofisi yangu kwamba mm-hmm. madam hii agreement haikuandikwa vizuri shamba nimenyang'anywa yes please please it is uh, something that i want to caution you yes unapoandikiwa hiyo agreement ya shilingi 1500 mm-hmm. jua kwamba kuna maneno haijawekwa ndani yes na haya maneno ambayo haijawekwa ndani inaweza kukuletea shida okay So just to sacrifice if you have given 1 million you can afford another 20,000 30,000 40,000 50,000 mm. for an agreement yes. because you are checking out a lot of money mm. so the society mm. i would like to urge you mm. please make agreements before advocates right. we know how we can write those agreements in a manner that even if you died your grandson your great grandson and granddaughter can come and say my father bought this land You know my yes. my mother bought this land. Yes. So it is something that I'm cautioning the society. So hiyo ndio maneno ambayo inafanyika sana na brokers especially the issues of land buying land. Na in most cases succession. Na hizi succession nazo zingine mimi huwa na furai sana nikiwa kotini. Unapata wale brokers wamewa wa wafusailia wamewasaidia hawa wazee wa find succession. Yes. Lakini ikifika ile level ya sasa kuna objection. Yes. Ule broker makaratasi ambaye analeta kotini unasema I, I wish <laughs> these people could have come yeah. together as a family, got some money and for the advocate yes. to help them. Yes. So there are a number of things that brokers are doing that please the society. Yeah. We you may have to look at advocates as people who are very expensive. Yes. But in the in the at the end of it uh, yeah. you i'll charge you money mm-hmm. but the services you are going to get zitakusaidia mm-hmm. rather than pay someone 3000 4000 5000 
Then you end up again going to an advocate to begin afresh. Si umetendeka? Umetendeka. Mie nakumbuka I ever happened to read one that thing inaandikwa na chief hata IJ karatasi kufika huko yes. chini like unakuta maandika I in Kenya do I'm satisfied to sell my land to consulata mnyifu at 100,000 I'm satisfied tunaeka sign tunaeka sign tunasema kazi tosha that is not a land argument <laughs> that is not a land argument na shamba inaenda hivyo right ni maneno yao tu I don't know how to. Actually, that is why we are having so many land matters in court. Yes. These people, are, and you know, it is a trend. Yes. Something that I'm surprised about. Ni kwamba chief wa mechukua sasa wanandika sale agreement, land agreement. Who you chief? Aje wa isoma laws concerning a sale of land agreement. What is supposed to be contained in that agreement? Chief hajui. Mm. Sasa chief yeye ataandika majina zako na washahidi wako watatu. Mm. Na kuna maneno hajaweka labda mjalipana in full. Yes. Hata chief hajaeleza haya malipo ya mibagi italipwa lini? Nani atalipa? Yaani the, the document is three page. Hata three pages ni nyingi one page. Yeah. yeah. So kila ambacho nitawasihi wale ambao mnanunua mashamba na mnaenda kwa chiefs. Yes. Yamani muturaisishie kazi mawakili. Yes. Enda kwa wakili, lipa pesa kidogo, umepata elefu miambili ya kununua shambo. Kwa nini uwezi pata elefu kuminatano ya agreement? Kwa nini uwezi pata elefu ishirini ya agreement? Mbona basi ya unge postpone kununua ilo shamba yu siku, ukatafta ile pesa ya agreement, ukaenda kwa wakili. Yes. Unaona? Yes. And let me tell you, another thing that um, these people are making a mistake, I'm yes. sorry to talk on this topic so much, but I will have to, yes. is that... Um, Buying of land yes. is not that the, it's not just the tent of the agreement. Okay. Kuno shamba in a process kubwasa. Yes. Ambayo kwa shikiria tunaitwa conveyancing process. Yes. The process of buying the land up to getting the title. Yes. Now, wewe umeenda kwa chief, mm -hmm. mumeandikishana hile pejienu moja. Yes. Hata search ya shamba hauna. Yes. Na sometimes, umepewa search mm -hmm. lakini kuna michezo imechezwa search imetoka mm -hmm. haina restriction lakini kuna strict restriction mahali yes. alternatively umetoa search kwa lands lakini hii shamba iko na loan yes. unajua mtu anaweza kuonyesha title yeah. lakini unajua kuna loan yes. so kuna vitu kadhaa ambazo zinatakikana zifuatwe ndipo mm -hmm. mfiki ile pale mahali pa kuandikishana mm -hmm. agreement sio kuandikishana kwa so mnapo nunua shamba tafadhali endeni kwa watu ambao wanaweza waandikia agreements ambazo zitawasaidia kama kutakuwa na mzozo wa ile shamba na hao ni mawakili sio brokers sio chiefs sio elders wa mtaa sio assistant chiefs it is advocates who write agreements mm -hmm. yeah. najua kama kuna broker mahali wa shamba ama chief ambaye anaandika vitu hivi mahali kidogo wamejaribu kupandelisha chane lakini ndo hivyo mambo ndo hayo unayapata hapa live wanakwambia ukweli afa ufuate sheria na siku zote wanakwambia chip is expensive tumia 1200 kwa wakili uweze kufaidika maisha yako yote lakini tumia 1000 kwa chifu kule baada ya miaka miwili miaka mitatu mbele uanze kulaumu kusema oh jamii inanionea kwa nini kijiji ninunua shamba vizuri sasa hivi amenigeuka yote hayo itakuwa ni haukufuata sheria wanakuambia kwa yule yote ambaye unawazia kununua shamba unawaza una huo mpango ama una zile pesa usiziharibu zile pesa kupeleka kwa chifu tafuta wakili fanya saji ya shamba e, uhakikishe kwamba hilo shamba ambalo unauziwa liko katika hali gani ujue shamba lako liko vipi ili kwamba ukiingia pale ukaekeza mradi wako uwe umeekeza mradi wako ukupe faida mbeleni Tunaendelea na kipindi chetu ni sheria na jamii hapa ni Pendo TV e, ikiwa ni siku ya Thursday siku ambayo kila kila Thursday kuanzia saa mbili unusu huwa tunazungumza mambo haya ya sheria kuchanganulia mambo ya sheria ili ukapate kufahamu manake tukichukua ile katiba uh, tukakuletea pale nyumbani na tukuwekea hapo hivyo utasoma lakini hutaweza kuelewa kina kaubaka kama wakili anavyo kufafanulia hapa kwenye Pendo TV furaha kwa jamii Na wakili tunaendelea na maswala yetu ya sheria. So kuna mtu hapa kidogo na ametupeleka mbele lakini tutasonga naye anaitwa Edwin Sitati ana jina kama langu la kwanza lakini 
mimi siti sitati tofauti ni mimi ni Kenya anasema kutoka webuye kama mke anaharibu mali utafanyaje ana mke lakini mke wake ni kama ni ule mke wa kuharibu mali akipata hiki anaharibu anaachana nacho kisha haribika akipata kile naharibu anasonga mbele mke Leo kama huyu anauliza kwa familia eh unaweza msaidia jamaa unaweza fanya nini ni sawa na una umetotoa kwa urithi wanatupeleka kwa familia yes eh ama mambo ya shaba yes eh hapo sasa sijaelewa ni kitu gani ambapo ule mke anaharibu anavunja vikombe sahani ama na maybe ananunua hata ngombe maybe anaharibu shamba ama kinunua tv mke anavunja mm -hmm. hatujaelewa vizuri mm. lakini huwa hilo ndarudilia tu yale ambayo nilisema last time mm. The Bible says that a foolish woman destroys her house with her own hands. Mwanamke mpumbavu anaribu nyumba yake kwa mikono yake mwenyewe. Na amesema vizuri kwamba ule mwanamke anaribu vitu. Huyu ni mwanamke mpumbavu bila ambapo Biblia inasema. Kwa sababu hakuna vile ambavyo mwanamke ambaye una akili utamwacha mmewaka nunue vitu na uje uharibu. Yes. Kwa sababu hivi vitu vinavyonunuliwa ni vyako na mule mume. Yes. Ni vyenu na watoto wenu. Yes. Ni vitu vya familia yenu. Mm -hmm. Kwa nini sasa uharibu? Unajua huko ni kama unaribu kitu chako. Yes. Mtu yote ambaye anaribu vitu kwa nyumba ni mtu ambaye anaribu vitu vyake mwenyewe. So, eh ningependa kukosho mke wa sitati kama sitati anatuangalia na mke wake yes. kwamba mke wa sitati tafadhali wacha kuharibu vitu vya nyumba yako maana hivyo ni vitu vyako sitati anafanya bidii analeta na wewe unaribu na unafaa ujue kwamba hata kama unaribu pia Biblia inasema kwamba pia na wewe unataka na utafute kwa sababu in the book of uh, Proverbs the Bible says kwamba mwanamke mwenyewe anatoka anatafuta kutoka nje ya mbali analeta karibu yes. analeta kwa nyumba yake mm -hmm. so wewe ni mwanamke ambayo Biblia inakuita mpumbavu na sisi pia tutakuita hivyo yeah, ni maneno makali lakini wacha tuyatumie kwa leo mm -hmm. kwa sababu start tunataka mke wako asaidike yeah. na unaweza mueleza kwamba sifurahi jinsi ambavyo unafanya ama you can find a marriage counselor I spoke about a marriage counseling the other time I was here nikawa nasema kwamba tafuta mtu ambaye anaweza ongea na mke wako na awe mtu ambaye mke wako anamheshimu kuna jambo ambalo watu wanafanya wakati wanatafuta solution za mambo yao ya ndoa ambalo kwangu sikubali mtu anaenda kutafuta mtu ambaye kule mke hamjui hajawahi muheshimu hawajai ongea hawajuani alafu wanataka wakae pale wasulishe yale maneno chances are very high that it, that it. Well, let me sit there keep quiet and listen but the truth is that anaweza kuwa hachukui yale maneno in most cases advice ambayo mtu ambayo mtu hamheshimu Uh, they rarely take it unless it is a professional bila ambavyo unasema marriage counselor atachukua kwa sababu anajua wewe ni professional and any advice so start to find someone that your wife respects mm. and uh, go and sit with that person share with them what is happening and uh, let your wife also let that person be someone ambayo bibi yako anamheshimu yes. ambaye wanaweza kaa chini na yeye akamweleza mama usiharibu vitu uh, mume wako anapomuua na nafikiri kwamba mtarudi kuishi kwa amani Ehe, bwana sitati nadhani ukiwa webuye umepata jibu la swali lako na nadhani umeweza kusikia na yale ambayo umeambiwa jaribu kuyashughulikia utapata mambo ya kinyoroka wanasema mambo kwa ground itakaa sawa kipindi ni sheria na jamii hapo Pendo TV unaweza tutazama live kupitia kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii pale kwenye Facebook ni @pendo TV kwenye YouTube pia ni @pendo TV tuko hapo live na kipindi hiki kisha ile ile utakuwa kutana nacho pale kama hujaelewa kwenye televisheni kwa pale na kwenye televisheni kutoka ni siku ya Thursday kwa hiyo saa mbili nusu jioni hadi saa tatu nusu jioni na siku ya Sunday tuko hapa saa 12 dakika kumi jioni kwa kurudia kipindi hiki ili kwamba yule ambaye hakupatikana siku ya Thursday na pia Sunday inapata kunufaika na mafunzo haya ya kisheria. Tunachukua mapumziko mafupi lakini tutakuwa tunarudia baada ya muda usio mrefu kwa hivyo usicheze mbali. Mimi ni Mkenya Edith.